This farmland once produced crops that supplied the local market. But landowner Osman Sid Ahmed says this year he doesn't expect to produce any crops. He says heavy rains and torrential floods have destroyed the soil and has impacted the farm facilities. The floods destroyed the ground and the water wells. Now we can't farm because the wells aren't working for us to get water for the crops. Every water well is destroyed. The ground has soaked up so much water. I've never seen floods like this before. I had potatoes and tomatoes, but I can't harvest this season. He's one of hundreds of farmers who've been affected by this year's rainy season, which people here in northern states say is unlike any they've experienced in recent history. Crops that were meant to be harvested have been washed away by floodwaters. And despite the waters receding, the muddy ground means new crops can't be planted anytime soon. The loss of farmlands comes at a time when Sudan is going through a food security crisis. 16 months of fighting has forced millions of hectares of agricultural lands to stop producing, leaving only farms like these in areas free of conflict to address the food shortage in the country. The UN says more than half of Sudan's population is in need of food assistance to survive because of the fighting between the army and the paramilitary rapid support forces. It also says that high food prices are forcing many families to rely on assistance. Crop production has dropped by half since the start of the conflict. Crops harvested by farmers here are usually sold to markets to increase availability and reduce food prices. And it's not only vegetables that have been destroyed by the floodwaters. This stream used to be no wider than 4 meters. But heavy rains and torrential floods widened it to nearly 15 meters and carried away many of Abbas Hassan's mango and date trees. The water was too much and came at such a high pressure that it washed away the trees and the soil here on the banks of the stream. My trees had already produced fruit and now they're gone. And the ones that are still here are rotting on the trees because the rainfall was too heavy. Local authorities say the rains and accompanying floods have resulted in a crisis far beyond their ability to respond to and have asked the federal government for assistance. But it's unlikely to be enough for farmers like Abbas and Osman to restore their lost farmland. And they won't be able to help supply the markets until the earth dries up again, which would take months. Hiba Morgan, Al Jazeera, Marawi, Northern State. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.